Hi, I'm Mike and welcome back to the Sanders Kitchen. Today we have a great recipe for you. Meatballs and spaghetti. Let's show you how we make great meatballs. Okay, here's the ingredients for the meatballs. Two pounds of 80-20 ground beef, a tablespoon of granulated garlic, two tablespoons of granulated onion, and two tablespoons of parsley flakes. Over here, we have a half a cup of half and half, or you can choose to use milk, and some salt and pepper, and finally, some Italian breadcrumbs. Okay, let's get started making the meatballs. Okay, the meat's in, all of our spices are in. We've added the half and half, salt and pepper, parsley, garlic, onion, I forgot to tell you earlier, we need to add one egg per pound of meat. That's easy enough. So there we go. Watch how easy this is to mix up. You don't really have to use your hands if you don't want to. It's going to be moist and tender. And then, in order to tighten it up a little bit, we're just going to add in those breadcrumbs. We'll keep mixing. And it's going to tighten up just fine. As you can see, I added in a pound of Italian sausage loose. That's the reason why I added the third egg, because now we do have three pounds. So I'm going to continue to mix, mix in that Italian sausage. The meatballs are mixed, the meat is mixed, and we're ready to make the meatballs. All right, so before we start making the meatballs, we're going to take a little olive oil and drizzle it down on this cookie sheet. And we're going to use, going to just stick your hand in there and it's not going to hurt anything. You know, you're cooking in your own kitchen, for heaven's sake. So why do we do this? Because we don't want the meatballs to stick. All right, we're going to take this little contraption here, and we're going to start making the meatballs. I don't like little bitty meatballs. I like my meatballs thick, and that way they, they can stay juicy and tender. We're going to roll them up in a little bit. Let me go ahead and get all of these done, and I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. Okay, we got all the meatballs uh, into the pan, and it's time to roll them up. Now, you don't want to make them too tight. Just make them nice and loose. Just make them into a ball like that. They don't have to be perfect. And when I get them all done, I'm going to come back and show you the next step, okay? Okay, I'm wrapping up this last meatball. Look at that. Nice, plump, and we're going to take them right on over to the uh, broiler. Put them in. And we'll come right on back when they're done, and I'll, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, while the meatballs are browning in the broiler, we're going to continue on with this recipe because it's time to make the most wonderful sauce. Ooh, it's going to be good. So let me tell you what's in it. Okay, we have two cans of tomato sauce, one can of crushed tomatoes, a small can of tomato paste. We're going to use red and yellow onion. We have garlic, some Italian herbs, we have fresh basil out of the garden. We're going to put some Italian sausage in the gravy too. I'll show you how to prepare that. And for right now, we're going to show you how to use fresh garden tomatoes to add to your gravy. So we're going to take those tomatoes and cut the core out. And then we're going to put a little X on the bottom. Then to a pot of boiling water. We're going to put these in for only 30 seconds. 
Okay, it's been 30 seconds. We're taking the tomatoes out, putting them in an ice water bath. They're pretty hot. Skin's already starting to come off by themselves. Okay. I'm gonna move this bowl and watch how that skin just peels right off. And that was only, I'm not kidding you, 30 seconds. Skin peels right off. And then we're gonna cut these up and add this to the tomato sauce, the tomato gravy. Hmm, look how easy that is. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, water's boiling in the frying pan. We're gonna take our Italian sausage, put that right in that boiling water. And this is how you prepare your Italian sausage for your gravy. We're gonna cook that sausage for about four to five minutes on each side, and then we'll put it right in the gravy. And you know what? We're not gonna waste that water. That water's going in too. We'll show you when we... All right, the meatballs have been browned in the broiler. They're out of the oven, they're cool. I'm holding this with my hand and uh, they're ready to go in the gravy. There's one more thing I'd like to show you. Look at these fantastic Italian sausages. This has been cooking for eight to 10 minutes. We turned them over a couple of times and there's a little bit of great flavor. That water is still left in the frying pan. All of that's going in. So let's make some gravy and put this baby together, okay? It's time to put this baby together, so let's do it. We have yellow onion. We have some red onion. I love a lot of onion, as you can see. I'm putting it all in. I'm also gonna add in a lot of garlic because, you know, my family loves garlic flavor. If I don't put enough garlic in, my mother is telling me, I don't know, you just didn't add enough garlic. Let's use the food scraper. Let's put that garlic in. We're making a lot of gravy. so We're gonna saute these down. And when they get translucent, we're gonna add everything else. in with all the ingredients. This is the tomato sauce. And guess what? A little tomato paste. Our favorite. Oh, Pam loves to eat this right out the can, believe it or not. And you know, it's really not necessary to use the whole can. You always can leave a little bit in there for your wife. We're just going to stir all of this up now. It's going to be thick. I know that. But that's the reason why we're going to add a little water. And I'm going to have everything in the recipe, everything that I'm telling you. All the ingredients and the amounts will be in, the, in that recipe, in the description. Okay, so we have that mixed up. Let's go ahead and add in our Italian seasoning. And let's add in a little water. And I'm gonna add that water in. That's about a half a can. Fresh tomato, you guys, love it. But right now, I'm going to add in some homegrown basil. It's another one of my 
garden herbs that we grow here. I'm going to put that in. The Italian sausage. Put that in. It's all going to cook together, all those flavors. Don't forget, got to add in the, the juices that are left behind. Got to have that. And the meatballs. Going to make sure all of this is mixed in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cutting up the tomato, putting that in there, and we're going to put the lid on it, and we're going to simmer it for about 45 minutes, and then we're going to show you what it looks like. It's going to be fabulous. Well, guess what? We're done. The gravy and meatballs, oh, they are so good. I cannot wait for you to try this recipe. Come see what it looks like. It is still steam and hot. So let's go ahead and serve it up. Okay. Because I am hungry. I've waited a long time today for this. Mmm. So, here we go. A nice meatball. Some sauce. And a nice piece of Italian sausage. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, this smells so good. We have some nice Italian cheese that we're going to put on top. I'm digging in. Mmm. Twirl that baby around. Let's cut into that meatball. Look how pretty that is. Love this. This is probably the reason why spaghetti and meatballs has been one of my favorite things to eat ever since I've been a little kid. Mm. Spaghetti and meatballs. Basic, fundamental, delicious. Please give us a thumbs up that's like and subscribe to our channel if you're just tuning in. We're going to come out with recipes every anyway, week. Thanks for tuning into the Sanders Kitchen, and God bless you.